Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're doing a card reading. We're using Sibylla cards and we are asking the question, are they thinking about me? So this could be a love interest. It could be a work related matter. It could be a long lost friend. It could be um, somebody that you're not particularly keen on or family member. It could be anyone really. And uh, so I'm not just doing this in a romantic context and you can obviously just use this whenever you need to if you're wondering if somebody is thinking about you. So we have five options here. Um, the option one, option two, option three, option four, option five. And uh, I know that some of these covers are not particularly pretty, but the cards are actually quite beautiful. Um, so go ahead, um, make your selection See which one you feel drawn to. You may pause the video if you need to, and you will find the timestamps in the description box. So I'm going to go ahead and begin. For those of you who've chosen this option here, we're asking the question, is he or she thinking about me? Are they thinking about me? So I don't read these cards uh, reversed, so I'm just going to turn this around. I read tarot reversed and the rest I don't because I feel that the cards or my clairvoyance lets me know what the meaning is anyway. And um, reading it reversed just adds a different layer to it, which can be, um, it's more logical or rational or kind of, you know, thinking as opposed to feeling it. So you I feel that the person's definitely thinking about you. It might have been that things ended badly or that things ended in a way that they are not that happy about. Uh, they're thinking about how it could have ended differently and they're wondering if there could be a new start. They're wondering if a new start could actually bring things uh, about differently or whether it's even worth making a new start. So they're in deep um, thought about this. And this is the card of uh, of thinking really and, and being, you know, wondering how to make the situation better and how to, um, how to, yeah, how to make the situation the best that it can possibly be. And this is after they felt that things have gone awry or they have felt that things have gone really terribly. So even though you may not see it in that way at this moment, um, they might they might be feeling a bit ashamed of themselves about the way that they behaved or they may be feeling that, you know, things could have gone m much more differently than uh, they expected it would. It kind of blew up in their faces. Uh, so to say, and this might be that there's actually nothing going on, you know, really between you two, but maybe they felt that when they met you, they could have behaved a bit differently and they're kicking themselves for it. And so, yeah, they're just wondering how they could make the situation a whole lot better. So they're not just thinking about how to make it up to you, but how to like take the situation to a whole, to a whole new level. But this person here, this personality is somebody who I don't feel that they necessarily will take this action. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily feel that. It could be that they do for some of you and, and also uh, not for others of you. And the reason I'm saying this is because I don't want you to have the expectation that they're going to do something because they're thinking about it. Um, because they're thinking about it doesn't mean that they will actually act upon it. Because this could be a person who rather think about these things than, than act on it. So the next reading I'll do will be, will they act on it? Okay, so look out for that. And then perhaps you can see um, if if that is the case. So that is your, your answer for those of you who've chosen the option number one here. For those of you who've chosen this option, the option number two, this, we're asking the same question. Are they thinking about me? Have they been thinking about me lately?
So yeah, I want to say that uh, if you're a blonde woman, <laughs> they're most likely thinking about you. Um, for the rest of you, I don't think this applies. Um, in fact, I think that the answer is no for most of you. Um, there could be somebody else that is around you or that you know that they are thinking about. And this is somebody uh, with light colored hair. There is an instance here where this person has been scared off or they've been, they've chosen somebody who's who's got a lighter hair color. So it might have been that, you know, there were some tender moments between you and this person and or you and this person got along really well. You had a really beautiful moment with each other where it felt like a real simple, um, like a, a feeling of uh, being a sim sympathetic or something like this with 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 the person and uh, they were just really beautiful moments shared but this person kind of got scared by this moment by this experience and decided to uh, look away or to respond as if it's um it's it's something bad that what, what happened between you two is something that's not good and they've kind of distanced themselves from from the situation so when they think about uh, the situation it kind of fills them with with fear or with dread or with anxiety and so they are less they try not to think about it and I feel that unless you are blunt here and you've come to this reading I don't think that they're thinking about you I think that you they actually are they've chosen they've chosen this person with the light hair color or they rather think about this person with the light hair color because this person uh, appears to them to be less complicated or rather to have the complications that they actually um, are comfortable with or they are aware of or it's like better the devil that you know than the devil that you don't know. So this woman could also be this person here could also be somebody that they are uh, that's perhaps um, their wife or or their girlfriend or their longtime girlfriend or fiance um or something like this it's it's as if uh, they know this person and they'd rather feel they'd rather be with this person than try something new or or, or stray on a different path that's how they look at it and it fills them with anxiety that that this intimate moment that they spent with you uh whether it be just in terms of words or eye contact or a feeling that they had inside of them actually occurred um this is if you're in a relationship with this person for a long, long time and there's a third party here, then this person is um, enjoys actually being with you and they they have they think about you in a fun manner and they they enjoy. Yeah, they enjoy that interaction with you, but uh, they also uh, prioritize the other person in this situation and um it is easy for them to end this or to bring an end to this or they would if they had where to be given a choice they would bring an end to this okay so this is something that um this person feels like somebody who has quite a lot of insecurities uh, they may appear as a really strong person but um, their thinking how they think about you here shows me or whether they think about you at all here shows me um that they actually not they've quite emotionally weak or they they just not very sophisticated in their emotional world in their emotional landscape so they have very raw responses to the way they deal with things and um yeah so that is your reading for today um that's not particularly nice to hear and i'm sorry that you had to hear that so for those of you who actually have chosen this option here he asking, are they thinking about you? Or are they thinking about me? Let's ask that rather. Is this person thinking about me right now? Or is, has this person thought about me lately? Or have they thought about me lately?
right? So in this situation, this person is really focused on something else right now, or they really have their priorities. Um, they on well, it's not uh, sorry, it's not about their priorities. It's about the fact that they're drawn to something else right now. They have something else that's more important that they're doing right now, and they're really focused on it. They could be somebody who's really focused when they're working and they don't think about anything else, or they think. Um, or they're just having to take care of a matter that's really important right now and their thinking is there. However, even though they may not be thinking about you, the intention here is to send a message of love. It's to announce their love. It's to come across with their love in, in, a, in a really grand way. It's to make a great announcement of this love, of this feeling. And so this person might be just working away or appearing as if they're not really interested or um, actually not giving any sign at all that they are interested but their intention or their feeling or their action that what they're actually planning to do next is to uh, come forth and make this grand announcement of love and um, having said that I don't think everyone's going to come forth on a, as a knight on a shining ar in shining armor you know just riding forth and declaring their love. I don't think it's going to be like that. I think it's more like they are going to make an announcement of their love by by saying, hey, let's go for a drink or just by phoning to ask how you are. And uh, because I get the feeling that even though this is like a grand announcement here, um, I get a fe the feeling that this person, this type of person here who's coming up in this reading, he, he or she is quite a shy person or they quite are uh, reserved in the way in which they express themselves. They're quite conservative in the way in which they express themselves. So they're not going to wear their heart on their sleeve necessarily. And little gestures make may count quite a lot. So actually just small little things, maybe a text message or maybe just a phone call to ask how you are, or maybe a letter or something like this. These are these are things that really matter to this person. So don't expect um something really wonderful necessarily but in your opinion uh, so the feeling I feel uh, what I'm picking up here is that you may be feeling like this is what is this this is no grand gesture but in fact for, for for him or for her it is a grand gesture so it might be something small like they might send you an emoji but for them it's like a huge thing you know they might send you like a heart emoji or something and for them it's it's like a declaration of their love, okay? So, um, or they care for you. Because I feel like some in some situations here, this is like a situation between friends or between two women or um, it could be between a lot of different people, but it just, it also could be just between friends or between some like, um, or some kind of, um, not a, like a family, like a, like perhaps a relative, like a, a family relative or but somebody at a distance or somebody maybe a distant relative or maybe somebody at a distance so I'm just getting all these feelings that's coming up here so it could apply to you in various different ways uh, but this person is definitely even though they're not thinking about you they have thought about you they have a plan in place they are planning something and they're not necessarily thinking about it all the time or at this given moment. So I hope that's been useful for you and that you're happy to hear that. <laughs> um, we are moving on now to the option number four. The question is, are they thinking about me? Are they thinking about me? So I actually have done these readings all before, but I'm just going to do a repeat um, because, yeah, just to give you some maybe updated information. But having said that, the readings are timeless, so you can access it at any point and it should actually work for you because it's your intuition that's really drawing you to it. So here, the first feeling I got was that they're not thinking about you or they're trying not to think about you or they're actually thinking about something else just so that they can think about you. Um, but the action I see here is that 
they are actually going to come forth towards you at some point or they're going to give you something like a present or they might actually offer you something sometime in the future but it's not going to be immediate it's going to be there's a delay here a fish baiting as a delay a retard in in french here um so or retardo yeah it's all about being late um or being delayed or procrastinating i feel this person is procrastinating like they may be not thinking about you right now, to be honest, because that's the first feeling I got. The feeling I get from this person is that they're quite self-involved or they want to be quite self-involved. That's not their true nature. They want to be quite self-absorbed because they don't want to be thinking about the situation or they don't want to be acting upon the situation. So they're taking their time and they are trying not to think about it. They're trying to think about everything else, actually, and not think about this. And as a result... Um, the, the, the action that they're going to take to you is going to be quite delayed. So, um, yeah, if you're expecting something from them, just stop thinking about it because it's going to be quite a while before they actually come up with it. And actually, if you stop thinking about it, if you stop waiting for it or stop expecting it, it's going to be faster. It'll kind of rile them into acting faster. Uh, but right now, it feels like they know that you are watching them or that uh, you are thinking about them. And so they have the luxury of not thinking about you. I don't know. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but that's the way I'm reading this this energy. So, um, yeah, they look at the situation like, oh, you know, I don't need to concentrate on this right now. I don't really need to do anything right now. But the actual truth is that they know that they need to do something. And inside of them, they feel that, but they're not willing to look at that or to actually uh, to be able to to uh, attend to that right now they're not willing to attend to that right now that's the way i see it they are choosing not to attend to it so in the background they are kind of you are in their thoughts in fact i would say that you are the the white elephant in the room so they're choosing not to deal with this right now but later on there will be an offering there will be a gift perhaps there will be something that they give to you or they they come forth in a way um maybe maybe this is a situation where You've had kind of fall out with somebody and um, it could be, it, it doesn't have to be like that, but it could be that you've had a fallout and that person just needs a bit of space and therefore they are like trying not to think about you or trying not to focus on you at all. And they're just focusing on other things. I feel like, yeah, they're not even really focusing on other things. They're not really being very productive in terms of what they're focusing on, um, but they are um, choosing something else right now at this given moment okay but later uh there will be something between you there will be a resolution of the matter so that is um well they're not a complete resolution okay but there will be some movement in this situation where there's like stagnation right now but there will be movement here okay so i hope that's been helpful and we're moving on now to the last deck here the question we're asking today is are they thinking of me Okay, so this person is definitely thinking about you. You might have had like a fight with each other or some kind of disagreement or some kind of drama. It feels like drama, like unnecessarily so, which is a misunderstanding, not really wanting to see each other's point of view, being angry with each other, therefore choosing not to see each other's point of view. This person is definitely thinking about you. Um, but they're not going to move right now they're not going to take any action right now they're delaying the action and they are almost waiting for something new to happen before they can take some action but there will be communication between you two and that will lead to a new beginning here and to kind of like a, a nice negotiation so to say or really a lot rather to say that you come to an agreement with each other you come to a kind of middle ground with each other so this card actually, um, 
you know, it means some, something else. So this caption here is like, it means something else from what I've just described. But um, the feeling that I'm getting here is that that there's kind of been something that blew up or not blew not blew up, but there's kind of drama over something small. So, you know, th this could also mean that there's a gift that was given where that was not that has not been appreciated or there's an argument about that. It could be a, a good gift. It could be something that's wonderful, but it's something that's brought about an argument or some kind of situation where there's been jealousy that's come up. Um, it could be about a material thing where there's an argument about a material thing, like who gets to have that or who gets to have this or who gets to use this space. Although it's more like a small thing. It feels like a small thing, like a ring or something. But it doesn't, of course, this is going to apply to you all in very different ways. There's just this whole thing here is just a lot of thinking going on. This person is thinking a lot about the situation. So I feel that uh, there is no, yeah, things might not be going according to plan as far as they're concerned uh, or as far as you're concerned here. But there's still a lot of um, attention given to the situation. There's, there's the, that person's definitely thinking about you and the given situation. And they are wondering how, well, I think, I feel like they're not really wondering how they can resolve it. It's more like they're wondering, like they're still in their emotion. So they're not really thinking very rationally about the situation. And, um, but given time, the situation is going to be resolved in a good way. And all's going to be well between you two. So, um, yeah, I do feel, I don't know, I just get this feeling uh, others may read this card differently, but I'm I'm just getting the feeling that all is not well between you two um, to begin with here. All right. So um, wishing you all very well. I hope that's been useful for you today. If you've been wondering if they've been thinking about you, then uh, yeah, then you have your answer and you may look out to for the next um pick a card reading I'm probably going to do uh, something like what action are they going to take towards you although in most of these here I've talked already about the action that they will take towards you or not all right so I'm wishing you all very well and blessings abound from Kismet Rising